Hello everybody, this is Matt at IB, and today we'll be attacking the 2020 AMCA problem 24. The problem reads, a large square region is paved with n squared gray square tiles, each measuring x inches on a side. A border d inches wide surrounds each tile. The figure below shows the case for n equals 3. Now when n equals 24, the 576 gray tiles cover 64% of the area of the large square region. What is the ratio d over s for this larger value of n? So the first thing we notice here is that the problem is asking for d over s, a ratio. And we don't actually want to find the values of d or s. So this allows us to do um, s equals 1. We can just assume s equals 1. And this will simplify the problem greatly because now all we've got to do is find the value of d because d over 1 is just equal to d. So when s equals 1, we can label the um, diagram that gave us a so. 1, 1, 1. And the problem gives us that this is d. D, D, D. And the sign of the large square would then be 4D plus 3. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4 Ds and 3. Now we want to find the case where n equals 24. And we can do something very similar for the n equals 24. We don't actually want to draw the diagram out, but it's find a pattern from the n equals 3 case. So the, <clears throat> the size of the largest square is then going to be, for example, when n equals 3, it's going to be 4, that just n plus 1. And then 3, it just stays the same. So this is n, and this value will be n plus 1. And this is true because um, you want to do the plus 3, because there are just n squared tiles, 3. And then you, there's 4 d's because the, you count the border, so 3 plus 1. Now, if we do the same for the n equals 24 case, we'll get n plus 1, 25d plus 24. And that's going to be the sign length of the larger square when n equals 24. Now, we can look at the further question. The 576 gray tiles cover 64% of the area of the larger square region. So that means that the 576 gray tiles, what's the total area of those? Well, that's another benefit of letting s equal to 1. Because now it's very easy to find that e square is 1 times 1, or just 1, and 576 of them, that's the total area of 576. It's a very clean number. So 576, now divided by the total area of the square region, that's 25d plus 24 squared. And that's equal to 64%. And 64%, we can write it as 64 over 100, or it's equal to 16 over 25. If we divide, if we divide the numerator and the denominator by 4. So, let's get a 64%, 16 over 25. And we can cancel out the, the numerators to get 1 and 36. And now, we can cross multiply these numbers to get 900 equals 25d plus 24 squared. And we take a square of both sides, and we end up with the equation 30 equals 25d plus 24. And we can easily solve this equation to get that d equals 6 over 25. And remember, since s equals 1, that's going to be, that's going to be our answer. So the answer is going to be answer choice A, 6 over 25. Thank you for watching. May the force be with you. See you next time.